Good afternoon everybody and significant fellow here and I've really done it this time you can't see the labels from me here but I found something that rather quite um, stretches the word luxury now you think of luxury you think of a Mercedes you think of mansions you don't think this crab flavour filling mm. These were 60 pence in a shop that couldn't get rid of them because no one wanted them because they're all horrific looking. This looks like orange witness goo. And I've just got sight of the date, till I'm to August, and today is the, where do we want to go on? 13th of August. Goody goody gumdrops. What's the date on the chicken and bacon filling, which contains 0% actual bacon? And that's the 11th as well. But the crab is the 15th, so uh, the most dangerous of the volatile three. Or at least not going to kill me. But they've been in the fridge anyway. They also appear to be in these strange little plastic pots that you normally find rubbers in at a stationery shop. I don't mind anyway. Well, let's have a look at the crab first. Mmm. You know your crab's good when it can hold its shape. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking forward to eating that. Oh god! Oh god! The smell fills the room with what can only be described as a port on fire. That smells horrific. Um, what's it? It doesn't have any ingredients. Oh, it does around the bottom. Well, that's charming. Let's put the lid back on and hope I don't destroy the table. What have we got? We've got blurry words, aren't they lovely? Ingredients: surimi. Don't know what that is. Fifty percent. Uh huh. I think that crab-flavored whitefish is what surimi is. Oh well, at least part of it's correct. Water, surimi. Everything's surimi. There's 36%, there's some sugar, there's some stabiliser, in case it gets in the fight. There's some modifiable starch, there's some um, egg white, uh, mustard, a lot of flavour. Uh, Non-brewed condiment water. You mean brine? <laughs> and let's have a look at this one. What's the smell of that one? Sits over there and plans its next mood. Luxury chicken tikka filling. Mm, I'm sure it is luxurious. Just look at it. It doesn't at all look like radioactive orange matter. What's in you? Diced chicken breast and a spicy tikka mayonnaise chicken. 50% chicken breast. Oh, well, at least all of these are 50% frigging something. That's to be admired. 40% mayonnaise or rapeseed oil. It can't make its mind up. I normally read it like that, so I'm reading salt, mayonnaise, what do you Yeah, look. It's your doy, egg, egg salt, non brewed condiment. Yeah, they've all got non brewed water in them for some reason. So I'll take it that's not brine then. Hmm. We can't even put the sticker on this one correctly. I hope I don't die because this looks dicey. And it's diced chicken. Woo! And chopped bacon and mayonnaise ingredients. Wah wah. Mayonnaise is 57%. Eh, let's look for the numbers. Chicken 35. Pork 200. 41 <laughs> percent? Um, bacon is 8 percent and pork is 241 percent. Mmm. Two, nearly 200, 150 times your daily recommended allowance of bacon. <laughs> right then, let's have a look at this 150 percent over bacon. Mmm. It looks like filler. Do you like my tiny spoon? What have we got in here? It looks like potato salad, and I have yet to see any evidence of bacon. Mm. And there's definitely evidence of mayonnaise. Oh, look there. Oh, I've lost it, I think. Uh, yeah, there, look. It's a tiny bit of bacon. What's it smell like? Alright, that one smells nice. I've only got one spoon. Mm. Oh, well, I'll wipe it up on uh, this thing over here. There we go, that's better. Mm hmm. The luxury ticker filling. Let's have a close examination of that and see what this smells like. My guess is chicken tikka. Ooh, it just gets orange. Ooh, that's probably the best smelling with the um, crab filling that claims it's crab being the worst. And you can actually see with some chicken, so all hope is not lost. Now I have to eat all of these, and uh, can you guess which one's going last? Ugh. Nothing's in focus or shot. Eh. <laughs> Don't need the lids and shot. 
Right then. Here's my arm back, just in case you wondered where I'd gone, because I'd gone incredibly off focus. Let's put some... I don't want that much, I'm not that brave. Onto this. I was going to originally put this on crackers, but then I remembered it probably a better. Putting it on something that closely resembles a bit of sandwich. I even went to the effort of buttering it. Aren't I kind? Mmm. Lethal. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um Yeah, okay, it might smell nice, this little phalamite. Oh he's moving myself into the centre, there we go. But um Oh boy, the chicken is that's dry for a starter and um what closely resembled chicken, all I got was grit and bits that hurt my teeth. So yeah, that fifty percent chicken that does claim to be in there is um hundred percent bullshit. If you pardon my French. Oh, oh, come here, Mr. Spoon. There we go. Clear enough. Let's try this one. Whether it's two hundred and forty one percent bacon. I have the strangest feeling that that's a typo. I think we can be braver with this. You can't go that wrong with bacon. Well you can. Cue the McDonald's burgers. One for the money, two for the fact that it's out of date, three because I'm incessantly bored, and you can't wait to watch me suffer. Oh. What did I just eat? I can definitely taste mayonnaise. Bacon. What? That other meat certainly isn't chicken. I do actually think they managed to put 241% pork in this and no chicken. Yeah. Oh, wait, chicken and, chicken and bacon filling, yeah. So, where's the chicken? Let's see who we can blame. I can't make the label out. Um, Cali Thorpe Industrial Estate in Breffield. I'm coming to get you. And last but not least. Let us release the demon smell from the demon jar. Demon demon. Let us move the decent one. And present our final armament of bread. Oh, I didn't like that on the towel. I, let, I licked that off. Oh, I'm done. Um, well, it has some form of consistency. It closely resembles uh, slime. It won't come off the spoon. There we go. You know, your filling's good. Well, it's got the consistency of plaster. Whew. Another whiff. I think I can go ahead and work in the sewage works now, because that's my nose done in. I've had a crab before. Tasted nice. It was really... It was brought in fresh from the... Um, from the... Not the docks, the um, boats and stuff. Whatever the hell they moor. I've forgotten already. Uh, the quay. There it was. It was a quay. Um, and it was nice. I'm going to have my dreams shattered of ever eating crab again. I can't even swallow it. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, that was going in the washing machine. <laughs> oh. Sweet Mary, Mother, and fucking Christ, Jesus, everybody in the Bible. Ugh. There is a limit in this world to what we can call luxury. That we fucking can't. That we can't because its ingredients are incorrect. That we might just be able to get away with if they use better chicken. So in other words, none of this is luxury. All of this is a fucking illusion. Christ almighty, that didn't taste like crab. That didn't even taste like remotely anything fishy. It tasted more like carrot. Ugh. Why do I keep finding these things? Why can't I, why can't I find nice things? Why can't I find one pound luxury steaks? That it actually steaks and tastes nice and would go nice with mashed potato or chips or something. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. Uh, once again, I have been insignificant fallow. I'm going to the hospital to have my stomach pumped before my stomach tries to escape by ripping itself out of my back. Like and subscribe if you're in fucking sane like I appear to be. And we may see more in the future because there were actually more of these fillings. 
in the shop and they look these two just look the most um I don't even know could you say nice uh, blech. I'm gonna go have a bath <laughs> <laughs> bye bye folks bye bye